everyone and welcome back to my video blog. It is this time of the year that every year I am giving you a state of market half year to see how the market is doing. This year, this report is even more important than previous year that I have reported to you, where between 2015 and 2000, 2019, uh, we, the market is chugging along pretty well, you know, from the high 5% to the high 6%. Um, price appreciation. Everybody is happy because you know um, the price appreciation is uh, three times of uh, the rate of inflation. But this year is totally different, right? So how the market is doing when we have high inflation, we have a threat of recession. Actually, some people is in the recession because we do have two consecutive quarter of uh, negative growth. Okay, and we are facing multiple. Uh, federal fund rate increase. Okay, so we have the very first one uh, in March, the second one uh, following up in May, then I have June, a three quarter percent jump. And then in July recently, uh, the 27th, we have another three quarter percent uh, jump. So how the market is doing this year is very important. I report to you and bear with me that you know, there's a lot of data I want to share with you. So you can look at those number and forecast going forward, right? And and this will be a series of um, uh, video that I'm gonna share with you, how we can project uh, the market for the next six to uh, one year based on those data, okay? So uh, I'm gonna share the screen with you so you can see the number and I'm gonna compare the first quarter of this year with the last quarter, the quarter of last year, the second quarter of this year with uh, of last year and then going forward, okay? So I'm gonna share the screen with you and follow um, my uh, PowerPoint, not PowerPoint, my Excel <laughs> spreadsheet. Okay, so what we have here is um, the first quarter of 2022 uh, and the number of homes sold, the closed median price, and the number of day of market. Uh, I will spare you with uh, the average, okay? Just look at the median. Okay. So uh, for the first quarter of 2022 this year, we have 4,149 homes sold. And then compared to the first quarter of 2021, we have 4,530 homes sold. And that make a decrease of 8.4% of the number of homes sold. However, you know, it's the number of homes sold that has been decreased, just like the press and the media have reported. However, the price, look at the price, okay? The first quarter of last year, we have a median price of 650,000. And this year we have the median price of 775,000, a increase of 19.23%. And just as a coincidence, we also have a 19.23% decrease of the number of day on market. The number of day on market is defined as the, the day that the property, the listing is active on the multiple listing and the day that the um, listing is under contract, is escrow, as we say, okay? So um, you just be a coincidence here. We can see, however, we have a price increase. And let me remind uh, you, uh, the area they're looking is very local and is the is uh, bordered by the 710 on the uh, west side, where you have Monterey Park and Alhambra, and going to the 210 on the north, where you have uh, Altadena, Pasadena on the west side, go along the 210 freeway, you know, you'll pass by San Dimas, uh, Upland, and uh, Rancho Cucamonga, and you go down to the 15 freeway south, you pass through uh, Ontario to East Bell, Corona, and then you go back um, <laughs> westward, uh, where you have Chino, uh, Chino Hills, uh, Rolling Heights, Hacienda Heights, and then end up um, at the border 710 and 60 with Montebello. Okay, so that's this area that I'm reporting. Very local, uh, that many of you have interested in our local market, okay? So uh, pretty much, you know, it translates to other market uh, in Southern California, but I want to localize it so we can have a, a better understanding. So going to the second quarter of 2022, you can see uh, we have 3,022 homes sold versus 5,523 homes sold in the second quarter of 2021, a big drop of 45%, okay? A big drop uh, because you know, the interest rate has jumped up uh, starting the second quarter, right? However, we can see the price has still increased 
by 13.8%. Uh, from a 716,000 million price in 2021 to $815,000 in the second quarter of this year. And also the number of data market also have decreased by almost 16% uh, from a 19 days on, uh, on the market on average to a 16 days on the market on average for this year. So now in as I say, March, we have a rate increase, may have a rate increase, but it's minor, uh, minor, a quarter, quarter percent, okay? Uh, it's just like a baby step. But, um, I think how the market react when we have a half a percent increase uh, uh, in May, uh, in May, we have three quarter percent increase in June, and we have a three quarter percent at the end of July. Okay, so let's look at the June of this year compared to last year. So this year in June, we have, 1,570 homes sold uh, compared to 1,933 homes sold in June of last year. So a decrease again of 18% um, year over year, right? Uh, the housing price still have a little bit jump, okay, from $730,000 to $820,000. Not a big jump, but we still look, uh, look at uh, a 12% you know, uh, price appreciation between last, last June and the June of 2021. And see how July we look at when we have, um, you know, everything setting with a, a higher a federal fund rate, okay? And in July of this year, we have 1,317 homes. And then July of last year, 1,933 homes. And a big drop of almost 32%. I think you have heard from the media, from the news, we have a big drop, that's um, the market we're looking at. However, the price is still staying pretty stable. Okay, 730 for last year's 820, 820, no change. I think you know you can see the trend. I would like you to interpret yourself. Okay. And then uh, we still have the same uh, number of a day on the market, 17 and 17. So now um, I want to bring you to something is how many home, those homes are sold, they have been listed. Uh, two months, three months before the report, right? You know that now after listing, take two weeks to sell, 30 to 45 days to close. So that's a, a, a delay of 60 days. So now I want uh, uh, to show you right here, uh, those are number of listing, new listing on the market uh, between July 1st and August 15th, okay? So this year between July 1st and August 15th, we have 1,694 home, new home on the market. The market we're talking about is still 710, 15, 710 on the west, 15 on the east, 210 on the north, and 60 on the south, okay? And then compare the same period of 2021, we have 3,499 uh, home. And then uh, in 2020, when we are barely out of the lockdown, or we still have lockdown, okay? We have 3,300 home sold. And then in 2019, 3,664 homes, okay? So on average, this year, we have a decrease of 51% in the number of active listings. So you have less home on the market. The demand might be uh, uh, less because people say, wow, you know, we were at the 3% and now we are 5-ish percent, okay? So uh, people still have tech stock of what's going on i can you can see that you know um the month of um, july and august those are the hottest month uh, of the year for real estate sale doesn't matter if we have a recession or a big euphoria in the market those months are hot the market as you can see on in uh, the q2 the, in the second quarter has increased you know um uh, on previous year, like uh, in first quarter 2021 versus the second quarter 2021, it's always an uptrend. People start listing their house you know, by uh, the end of the tax season, okay? So by the end of April, in May, you start seeing uh, uh, an increase. June ramping up and July and August is the apogee of uh, the uh, real estate sale. You know, and then we drop down when people go back to school and then uh, soft riding until uh, the next year, right? So that, that's the trend, you know, doesn't matter of what market, but you can see in this market, we have a drop, a number of homes on the market. We have a drop of people uh, buying, 
However, you are still have people on the market. I can tell you, we have still escrow open and we're still home uh, sold. The only people have to take stock because they'll have a sticker shop. A lot of people used to uh, 3%, now it's a 5%. So I will leave all the comments, um, what I will do on a projection, on a forecast. This is not a, a crystal ball. It's better than uh, reading tea leaves, right? <laughs> okay, but this one will help us looking on the market going forward. And I welcome your comments. Text me, call me. I love to talk to you uh, about your feedback or email me after you watch this video. I love your comments, your feedback. And until next time, the next video about the market, about how we're gonna do it, you know, going forward uh, in our local market in particular and in the California market in general, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.